Oh yeah, that's the biggest one at night. That's one of the ones I was looking for right there. What's up everybody, Eddie Scales. Back again with the Midflow Scales and we're back at Picnic Island. Seeing if the trout are still here. Still got my DOA shrimp. Well, actually this is my voodoo shrimp tied on. Gonna pitch it around, see if we can find some fish. Let's see what happens, man. The sun is going down. Look at that, man. That's beautiful, isn't it? That's what I like to call the magic hour. But anyways, I'll see you guys on the pier. Let's get set up, try to catch some fish. All right, man, let's get set up. Got a pitch over there. See if they're hanging out. Just gonna give it a couple pops. Let's see if we can get a strike. Oh, what is that? What's that? Did y'all see that? I don't know what that was. I don't know, maybe it's trout. Guess we're about to find out here in a second. I'm looking for a big one today, man. We, we laid into a whole bunch of small ones the other day. I'm looking for the nice size ones today. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, man. I think I got one. Yeah, I got one. Can't be that big, but I don't know. Let's see, he's pulling. He's pulling. Get him up here. Yeah, he's small. First fish of the morning. <laughs> no, four fi first fish of the night, I should say. I'm saying morning. Yeah, he swallowed my lure. Gotta get the lure out. Here we go. Got my lure back. Nice fish, send him on his way. That was probably about a, I'd say probably about a 13 inch. Let's get back over there. See if they got any more. They might have some bigger ones. I don't know, usually when, uh, when you're looking for these fish, they're typically about the same size, but might be some big breeders in there. Let's see if there's any hiding over there. Still throwing that voodoo shrimp. It's been real productive uh, this winter time, man. This is this is definitely one of my favorite go-to wintertime lures, man. It's it's lights out this time of year, especially for trout. Oh, there we go. See? Got another one. About the same size feels like. A little bit smaller. A little bit smaller, but all right, man. All right, calm down, calm down. And like I said, it's lights out this time of year, man. I love catching these fish. Let's let them go. See if we can catch another one. You know, if you're in Walmart, you're in the store, wherever you at. Go to the fish, fishing section, spend a few dollars, get you a couple of these. Man, you'll be all right. I'm telling you. There we go. There we go. Got another one. About the same size. Yep, about the same size. Nothing to write home about, I'll, I'll tell you that much. I mean, he's pretty though. He's a nice looking fish. Off he goes. Man, these fish be disrespecting my lure. They be disrespecting the lure, man. I gotta try to fix it. All right, I fixed my lure. Let's get back out there, man. See if they're hanging out right here. Let's see if they're hanging out right here, man. They keep moving. First, they're in front of me, then they're way back by the signs, and then they're over there. These fish, they, they stay moving, man. 
but typically you'll find them in the general area. So you just come out here and you just cast any of this open water, you'll you'll find them. Just kind of give it a few taps. Couple taps, let it sit. Couple taps, let it sit. They ain't like my last cadence, so I gotta switch it up, man. Oh, actually I had a hit. See, sometimes just switching it up. Let's see if he comes back for it. I haven't kept the trout in, in a while. I, I can't even remember what the the limit is to keep them. I think it's like, I want to say it's like 15 to 18. There we go. That one was right by the pier. Yeah, he was right by the pier. It's a, it's a small one, about the same size. Look at that, nice fish. Yeah, I gotta look that up, man. I haven't kept one in a while, but I'll probably keep like one a year, something like that. But it's been a while since I kept one. Right now I know they're right by the pier, at least that one. He might have been a lone ranger. Let's see if there's any more over here. And he could have been chasing that that lure for quite some time. Who knows? There we go. Let's see if there's any any big ones hiding over here, man. I do love to catch these fish, big or small, but, you know, a big one would be nice every now and again. One thing I do like about this lure, you can catch almost any inshore fish with this lure. You fish at the right conditions, right time of year, almost, almost any inshore fish is going to hit this lure. Plus, it's just it's just fun to throw. It's it's really easy to learn. It doesn't take much to learn how to throw it. It's it's fun, man. Uh, you know, I recommend everybody get out here and just try it for yourself. Here we go. Here we go. Got another one. Come on. Come on. This one's even smaller than the last one. Yeah, he's even smaller than the last one. Get my pliers, get him on hook. Let's hold my hook back. Oops. <sighs> he's okay, he swam him off. I'll say we'll try to catch maybe one or two more. Luckily for these fish, I don't have a lot of time because I gotta get up and adult tomorrow so yeah man let's see if we can catch a couple more and we'll call it a night there we go there we go Probably the biggest one of the night, maybe. Oh yeah, that's the biggest one of the night. Just gonna walk him over here. So the rhythm is high. Still not that big, but oh yeah, oh yeah. Definitely the biggest one of the night, man, to take us home. Oh, yes, sir. Let's go. That was the one I was, one of the ones I was looking for. I almost lost him, man. He's barely hooked. Oh, yeah. That's one of the ones I was looking for right there. 
nice size trout. That's the biggest one of tonight. Still not huge, but definitely a nice size one, man. There we go. Got that hook out. Look at him. He is beautiful, isn't it? Nice size. We're going to let him go. Not keeping fish today, so we'll let this one go. Let him grow. All right, buddy. See you on your way. Gone. So that was definitely the biggest one for, for the night. Kind of jacked up my voodoo shrimp a little bit, but it's all good. I'm probably going to... Yeah, he kind of kind of broke it in half, but it's all good. I'm probably going to toss it out there, see if we can catch anything else, maybe one more fish, and then, yeah, man, we're going to wrap it up, but stay tuned. Let's see what let's see what we can do. Let's try to make it happen. Oh, I'm on again. I'm on again. This one feels bigger, too. Yo, that was literally my first cast. I even had the camera ready. I even had a camera ready. Ah, uh, this one's small though. This one's small. He ate that one on the drop, man. I'm telling you, I'm trying to tell you. Try to come out of the bottle right there. Yeah, last fish, he ate it right on the drop. First cast. I wasn't even prepared, but goes to show you man if if the fish are on it and they're honed in on your your bait man they're gonna chew sometimes it's just that reaction strike so like oh yeah oh that's a nice one right there that's a nice one nah he just hit it he just hit it nice he hit it nice he's small we're gonna wrap it up with this fish right here. All right, guys, we had a good time laying into the fish today. Thank you so much again for sticking with me, coming out here fishing with me and watching the video. I appreciate you all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Eddie Scales, this is Midflow Scales. I'll see y'all in the next one.